Hello guys, welcome to Afronix. Today we are going to see how you can control two DC motors which can be served as the wheel of your robotic car and you may want to give it a desired direction meaning you want to control it based on your desire. So that is what we'll be looking at today using Proteus, Arduino and other components just like the one you're seeing on the screen so i would like you to stay with me on this video until the end because at the end of this video i will show you step by step on how you can get the Proteus file as well as the code for this project so with that let us go straight into some explanations all right so basically let us say this is how the formation of our wheel will be here we'll be having the first motor and the second motor will be here all right so this is for a forward or a straight movement a straight movement means all the the motors will be running at the same speed so they will be moving in a straight direction right so this will go forward now for a left turn a left turn this has to be at zero movement while this one will be going at some speed so the the car will move this way now considering the sharp turn it has to give it a quick sharp turn so with that we have to this has to go in the opposite direction while this one will be going straight so that will cause the car to move in this direction right so if we go to the right direction we want to move into a right direction the left wheel will be at zero while the right wheel will be moving in this direction all right so that will cause the car to go this way likewise for the sharp turn these are the basic principles we will be looking at when designing our circuit so now let us go straight into the circuit design so for this project we need arduino which will be the microcontroller and then we need Compin, which will be serving as the serial port virtual serial port that will be connecting with arduino ide and process it and then we have our l293 d which is a motor driver then we need two motors one will be left and the other one will be right okay then our connection is going to be like this the first motor will be serving as the left and the first pin will be connected to pin 3 of arduino and then the pin 2 of the motor will be connected to pin 4 of the arduino and the enable pin will be connected to pin 6 of the arduino then the output output one will be connected at one of the terminals likewise the second output pin then we go for the second motor our second motor pin 3 which is pin 1 of the second motor will be connected at 8 pin 8 and also pin 9 will be the second pin of the motor and the enable pin will then be connected to pin 11 of the arduino the first output pin of the second motor will be connected to one of the pins and likewise the other so uh, this our ic the motor driver will then be powered up okay giving it power supply and also it will be given a ground it will be grounded then now we we'll move to the communication component which the transmission part which is the txt will then be connected to pin 1 of the Arduino which is the TXT likewise the RXD all right so this is how we'll do our connection in Proteus 8 so now let us go straight into Proteus 8 and fix this component so here I've done the connection and mind you the way I did my connection I did it in a short code format by using um terminal input and output which you can get directly from this terminal mode you can get input output and also default port okay like this one so this is how i connected it and mind you at the end of this video i will show you step by step on how you can download this purchase file so now let us visualize from this point
so this is how the movement will be like straight then go to the right direction or move take a left turn and also we'll incorporate one which will be serving as the backward and then we have the one that will be for stop to stop the motor so now let us go into the code and fix our code so this is our code it is nicely explained here so everything has been set and then here are our inputs like when we give f f means forward so it will go forward and also when we give r which means right turn so it will go in the right direction if we give one it will give a sharp right turn all right for left turn l we give l it will give a left turn and also and also if we give two it will give a sharp left turn all right so if we go right down we have the stop button we give just give s and the two motors will stop all right so if we want to reverse go backward we just press b which will move the motors backward in the negative direction so which will be termed as reverse so that's how we are going to do so let us compile this code all right so now let us look for the hex file the hex file is here which is here. so we highlight this part copy it Control c then we come to arduino double click then we'll paste the directory in this program file okay Control v say okay now before running this we need to connect this company with the arduino because we'll be receiving instruction from the arduino ide that is the serial monitor so with that we just have to use one software which is called com o com to connect this to virtually and there's a link in the description below just check it out and see how you can connect company of this purchase to arduino ide it is well explained there you can check it out and then follow the same strategy all right here is my com o com and i will be using com3 and com4 com3 will be for the arduino and then com4 will be for purchase right so the, here they are just click apply all right so i'll go to my arduino go to tools then go to serial go to port from port make sure that com3 is selected likewise you come to your purchase and then double click your com pin and make sure that this com4 is selected if you click this drop down window then com4 is here select it and then also change this to 9600 that is the baud rate change it to 9600 the others the other also virtual baud rate also change it to 9600 they say okay now let me minimize this and then we set with we run our program and see how it will work all right so here is our serial monitor and here it's our purchase and then here will be the direction of the winds okay so press play so now it's on it's ready for communications so now let us give the first instruction which is forward f capital f give it then as we can see gradually the motors are running in the forward direction all right so see it's going and it is indicated here go forward all right now let us type r which means the to go in the right direction so if we click r it will be indicated here right turn then this guy will slow down and this one will be moving so that will cause the car to move in this direction this slows down and then this one will move and it will come in this direction all right so now if we give it as one one will mean of sharp 
right tone that is a sharp right tone if you give one say enter it will give you a sharp right tone meaning this will go backward while this one will be going forward which will cause the car to go in a very fast u-turn all right so if we go to left l so l mean left turn left turn means this guy will now move while this one will slow down so as we can see it is now moving while this one is slowing down so if we give it two that will cause it to have a sharp left turn so this guy will go in the negative direction while this one will go in the positive direction so you can see it's going in the negative direction this one is going in the positive direction causing the car to have a sharp u-turn all right so now if we give it s which will indicate stop give it s so it's indicated stop here so it will cause both wheel to go at zero this one is approaching zero and this one is also going down to zero now if we want to go in the reverse direction meaning to go backward just press b enter will cause them to go in the negative direction so we can see so guys this is what i have for you all right so here is the download page mind you the link to this page is in the description below check it out and follow along so if we scroll right down mind you this post is still under construction you will see a nice button which says that subscribe to unlock the link if you click on this button another window will open and this window will navigate you to Afronix youtube channel so if this is your first time just have to subscribe and then click on the bell but if you have subscribed before to Afronix just leave it as it is you go to the previous page go right down you will see a nice message for you thanks and now click to download if you click on it then it will start to download so far i want to thank you for taking out your time and subscribing to Afronix. if this video is indeed helpful to you kindly smash the red button and don't forget to leave a comment below if you face any issues thank you for watching this video